I saw a woman a couple months back, professional soccer player, right? She goes on to ESPN or one of these sports channels, and she starts bitching, going like, I don't understand, how come female athletes don't make as much as male professional athletes? Right? And all of these men had to sit there and act like they didn't know what the answer was. <laughs> <laughs> they had to sit there like dumbfounded, like, oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, why is that? Uh, that is a conundrum. I have, I have no idea. Literally, I'm sitting at home screaming at the TV because you don't sell any fucking tickets. <laughs> Nobody is going to women's soccer games. You're playing in a 20,000 seat arena. 1,500 people show up. That's oh. not a good night. Oh my God, is that true? With uh, I don't think I've ever watched women's soccer. Uh, barely any soccer for that matter. But dang, I mean, it is a business. And if, if it's, you know, not being promoted as much and the money's not being put behind it, it's, you know, it's a business. That's, that's this world. The promoter lost his fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> on that dick. I don't know. I find a lot of that, uh, a lot of that racial stuff like fascinating. You know, like the different rules of like how who gets in trouble, who doesn't. Like I've noticed, black people have the genius to put the curse word after they say the race of the person. Where white dudes, we always put it in front. And if we would just make that little adjustment, we could save so many careers, so many jobs could be saved in the white community if we would just put it after. You never notice that in conversation here, black guy being like, man, I was standing there, this Asian motherfucker came in, he starts talking about us. We don't even hear it. We're just sitting there, oh, what did this Asian motherfucker do? I would love to hear the rest of this story, right? Dude, I would tell the exact same story, right? I'm standing there, right? This fucking Asian comes in, right? Everybody's all like, whoa, whoa, hey, easy, easy, easy. What year is it, you know? I just preempted the fuck. That's all I did. He suggested he's hooking up with people's mothers. I'm not even doing that. It's just a question. I got it out of the way. I got it out of the way. Oh my god. This fucking guy came in. This is fucking Asian. Yeah, there's nothing stopping you. That does kind of make it sound different. I came in. This is fucking Asian. Oh, that's yeah, funny. There's nothing stopping you. Other than the fact that you guys are just into destroying each other. No, now it's gonna get quiet. <laughs> I see all that sneaky shit you do. Ladies, if you could just support the WNBA the way you support a fat chick that's proud of her body and is no longer a threat to you, you know? That league would be doing better numbers in the NBA. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's one of the saddest things I've ever seen. Oh my God, you're a goddess. You're gorgeous. You look great, that bikini. I would kill myself if I looked like that. Keep eating, keep eating. <laughs> Lose a toe, you fat bitch. It's just... That's how it's become. <sighs> fucking US, everything's so goddamn heavy. Fucking joke you tell. Well, what did you mean about that? I didn't go to the gym today. Are you calling me fat? I feel fucking triggered. <laughs> Gotta fucking apologize to everybody. This is how screwed up my country is right now. Do you, you know that, you know Brian Cranston, right? That dude did a movie. He played a quadriplegic. And people gave him shit. <laughs> Be like, why is there an able-bodied person playing a quadriplegic? What? Wait, I never saw the movie. What is the movie? Comment down below if you guys saw this movie. It's like, it's because it's called acting, you dumb fuck. <laughs> See, if he was a quadriplegic playing a quadriplegic, that's not acting. <laughs> it's just fucking laying there saying shit that someone else wrote. <laughs> so tell us, what, what did you do to prepare for the role? <sighs> well, I dove head first into the shallow end of a pool when I was 23. I feel like I've been preparing for this role for my whole life. Right, what is up next for you? Uh, well, they're going to do a reboot of Top Gun. Uh, I'm going to fly it with my prom. And uh, the co-pilot's going to be transgendered. So everybody will be happy. She won't 
die, her discarded dick will block her head from the canopy. <laughs> There'll be a gender neutral bathroom on the plane. <laughs> How fucking dumb is that? That's literally like oh. watching a movie. Why did you have a murderer play a murderer? And how come the guy he <laughs> shot? I saw him in another movie. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck is going on? Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck is going on. But I think white women started it. <laughs> <laughs> Right there. It's all he do is bitch moan and complain. I had no idea how difficult it was to be a white woman in the United States of America. <laughs> Evidently, it's it's really difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're always bitching. Do you have any idea what it's like to be me? Well, I imagine it would be slightly less awesome than my life. <laughs> 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 what happened to you de today, sweetheart, huh? Did they not chill your rosé? You know? Was the trolley not running down at the mall? What happened? No, it's unreal. I'm really fucking annoyed how white women have the fucking balls to throw my white privilege in my face. You know? <laughs> Sorry to separate themselves from these white males with their white male privilege. It's like, bitch, you're sitting in the jacuzzi with me. The oh my God! Oh my God, I said this in another video. <gasps> what was it? Oh my God, my Tom McDonald straight white male video. Like the Karens that just, because I have these women around me or had, I, I don't mess with these people anymore. Cause it's just, when you hear them talk, I'm just like, girl, you're married to a white man. Your boyfriend's a white man. What are you talking about? What are you, why are you on the internet complaining? Oh my God. I can't believe you said that. I feel you, Bill, on that one. Yes, this is fact. Oh, Hailed my God. White male privilege. It's like, bitch, you're sitting in the jacuzzi with me. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, put your fucking whining. <sighs> Look, here's a little caveat here. So you don't think I'm a complete asshole right out of the gate. All right, <laughs> if you're fucking, if you're living some honey boo boo lifestyle on the Appalachian <laughs> Trail, you know, your uncle just banged you in the dirt. All right. I can't believe a white person likes to lie to himself that they are alive, you know, hundred Whoa. Dirt. All right. I can every white oh. person likes to lie to themselves that they are alive, you know, 150 years ago, that they would have been working on the Underground Railroad trying to help slaves escape, right? I would have been one of the good white people. That's, I would have taken time out of my day, risked my life. And the reality <laughs> is, is you'd be doing back then exactly what you're doing today. Nothing. Yep. Not a damn thing. Not a fucking thing. Maybe a little hashtag, Black Lives Matter. Oh my God, I, my heart breaks on my L-shaped couch. Uh, <laughs> my favorite thing about the Black Lives Matter marches was the, the store <sighs> windows that would have the plywood over the windows and then it would say Black Lives Matter on top of the plywood. I just love the duality of that message, you know? It's like, Black Lives Matter, we're all the same, we're all one. Don't burn down my store, you fucking animals! Everybody <laughs> is welcome in this store. Anyone can come in one at a time, follow him. That's how they are. Okay, that's so interesting because in my neighborhood, I was like, you know, because they were kind of preparing, per se, for it and boarding stuff up. And I was just like, wait, First of all, this area is, it's a pretty nice area. And I was like, why did they spray paint all over it? So for me, I was like, is this for the news to, you know, in case something, you know, in case riots come this way, are you doing this to appease the protesters or are you doing it for media? Is this set up? Is this premeditated? to make it look even more annoying. And, you know, I just didn't, I was like, what's the spray paint about? Like, you know, it's like the owner put the boards up and put the, you know, even the posters too. And I'm just like, what is happening here? Who had time to do all this? Did, 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 did like CNN call ahead to say, okay, we'll just board up and then, you know, put all this stuff up and, you know, so they don't, you know, what I guess is to not vandalize. I don't know. It's just, it was all just shenanigans. As far as I can tell.
Anyone can come in one at a time. Follow him. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right? If they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right? No problem with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing. If they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. They start thinking of shit you're sensitive about. Maybe you don't get along with your dad. And in their head, they just start concocting this evil <laughs> statement. Totally designed. This desperate Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt. That's what it is. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that. Well, that's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it. You're in this room now, right? My girl knows my big thing is, my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old, you know, grows old alone, has like that basement apartment, just screaming up at the younger couple, turn it down! That isn't music! So I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, out of nowhere, she'd just be like, well, that's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone. Then I'd, I'd lose my shit. <laughs> The next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. Ugh. This is what the argument was about. I was so right. What happened? So if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, <laughs> just know this. Next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere, okay? You're winning, and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> all right? Don't get mad. Bob and Weave slip all of that shit. Maybe because yeah, you got a little dick, just let that slide. Uh, Stay in the pocket uh, of the uh, argument. Uh, okay? It's over. The argument is over. You've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock. All right? Yes. Lean on the ropes. Let them punch themselves out. And then in the end, you throw their psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. And they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. Rub one out like a man. It's the champagne of victory. <laughs> no means no. That's another one. No means no. It's like, no, it doesn't. All right? Oh. Look, look, no means no. No, that means no. All right, but no, stop it. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my God. You're being so bad. Stop it. No. Yeah, that's not a fucking no. That means... Where's the lie? That's not a no. That's not. No. Yeah, that's not a fucking no. That means I want to do it, but I'm afraid you're going to judge me, so I'm just going to make it look like it was your idea so you don't figure out that I've already performed this act with 40 other fucking people. Right? <laughs> but then, then you go to court and you get a bad read and there's some guy yeah. reading it. Oh, your Honor, she said no. Stop it. What are you doing? You're being so bad. <laughs> Yeah, and you're just sitting there like, she didn't fucking say it like that! She didn't say it like that! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, that was, that was so much truth. So many facts. Like, Bill Burr is out here killing the game. Oh my gosh. I was introduced to him a couple of months back when I started my channel. And I need to react more to, to some of his stuff. But anyway... All of this was facts. This was hilarious. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!